You know what? Let's do it. Let's just try this. Let's pick out Umbrella. What I asked to you, my friend, Blue, are you tired of not being able to survive whenever you go to the tower? Also, thank you, Vasco, for the raid. How are you doing, by the way? Just gonna <laughs> have a moment. You know what? We're gonna, we'll, we'll start doing our advertising thing once we actually start, uh, start out the game. Let's do this. Let's pick some gear first. We gotta make sure we have some spicy stuff. What the heck do you use Umbrella again? Ah! Ah! We're running out of little time! Ooh, boy! Um, sh sure. We'll just, we're just gonna do this. This, this looks good. This, this looks good. I have a little too much run speed, I think. I mean, a little speed, but A. <laughs> Vic's live ad shooting. All right. All right, guys. Here's the question for you. Are you tired of not being able to survive whenever you go on that diddly darn tower? Well, you need to pick up the splat, brella. This is a weapon which proves to you that anything can really be possible. This is a weapon that not only lets you get the spiciest of splats, the greatest of ink coverage, but also has a shield to keep you alive. We're gonna try and show this to you right now on the stream. We go and take a lovely friend and take them out with us because we have that shield. Otherwise, for most people, that probably would be a death. The sploosh with its insane DPS, can rip through a Brella shield in a couple of seconds, but we make sure to plot that shield just in time. Friend pulling out bubbles? Keep them safe with your Brella shield, letting them snipe with no problems whatsoever. Do a little bit of a boop to get an opponent out of your way, unless they have ink armor. Then you want to back on out of there. You can throw a sprinkler onto anything, including the tower, which will let you get away with pretty much anything. Turn a 1v1 into a 1v2 with your Brella in just a couple of seconds. And of course, this Brella also has rain, which lets, keep you that, which lets you keep that tower path nice and good. Alrighty, and we are up here on that first checkpoint. You see those bubbles? You pull out your Brella. That will keep you safe, even if those Brellas tend to go off. Sniper got you down, pull out your umbrella. Bomb got you down, pull out your umbrella. But sometimes your umbrella can't keep you safe from everything. But you know, it does what it does. This umbrella is also detachable. Just watch this inkling go. Wanna paint a path ahead of you? Pull out that umbrella and let it fly. You can even walk alongside it if you want. Maybe it's gonna be your new best friend. But hey, it, it, it's going a little too fast. But luckily, the umbrella shield does come back pretty quickly. This poor friend had pretty much no ch- Oh! Oh no! <laughs> it seems like our sniper friend wasn't too happy with that lovely Brella action. But it's okay, because our Brella knows exactly what to do. That is a score right now of a winning Brella. Oh! But make sure to keep that Brella shield out at all times when there's a sniper on the field. It'll keep you safe. Your Brella shield can survive a little bit more than an entire bomb. Just make sure to run away as that bomb comes on down. It's all about the timing, folks. And about running away when you need to. What do you want to do with your umbrella shield? Is you want to pop around the corner with that umbrella active so nobody can hit you. Now, you might ask, can you flank with umbrella? That answer is a hard maybe. All you have to do is wait for the perfect moment and just kind of swoosh on in. Maybe not like this, though. Don't do that. Make sure to keep your umbrella shield out and open, or else the sploosh can come and get you. Look at all that swim speed. What, what are you going to do against that? So you know what? There are going to be times where your umbrella can't really do what you want, but that is A-OK. -okay. Watch this umbrella come into the field and help pop these bubbles. A little bit. <laughs> because the umbrella has very good damage on the singular things that it hits, it can be a very scary foe. Watch as you just are able to get onto this tower and run away. If Umbrella manages to get on that tower, you will find out very quickly why Umbrella can be quite the menace. Your Umbrella shield also lets you survive anybody who might come running up to you. Is there somebody hiding in this corner? Because if there is, the Umbrella is here to deal with that. Hello, Sniper. Also, hello, Sploosh. We're gonna do our best to survive with our Umbrella shield. As you can see, that's the kind of thing that the normal player might not be able to survive, but because of the one and only Brella shield, you are able to get away with so much. Watch this Brella use its fall off to force an opponent to run away. Even if you can't get that perfect shot, you are always able to make people run. That sniper could have gotten you a lot earlier, but they had to reposition first before they got you only because you didn't have your Brella out. 
And look at all this paint. That can only be because of your umbrella. If you need a little extra paint on the field, you can just go and put a sprinkler anywhere. Look at that sprinkler go. An opponent wants to come over on the left, they're gonna have to take care of your sprinkler first. Look at how annoying you can be. You can just keep putting it back. Look at this. The sniper just has to keep on dealing with the problem. Although you don't want to get too close. All right. Now we are in a little bit of a sticky situation here. And if you don't want to let people through, that is the time where you pop out that rain once more. Don't like the bombs? Then don't get near them. Now, for an innocent umbrella to be able to do its umbrella best, you have to make sure to be always in the way of your opponents. The umbrella is, surprisingly, a very aggressive weapon when you want it to be. As we said before, all you have to do is just throw yourself out there. <laughs> a umbrella shield trademark. You are very right, my lovely audience. And with this umbrella shield, we can get one more kill, and we can secure the tower. Just watch this. Game about to end, put out your umbrella shield so you and your teammates get to survive all the way to the end of the countdown. And just like that, your team can get another victory with your beautiful umbrella. You should head on down to Ammonites to go and make sure to purchase your own umbrella today. That way, you will always be the one on top. GG's. <laughs> oh, goodness. GG's. How expensive? Oh, how expensive is that umbrella? We can go right into the store and find out that information for you before we start playing another game. Look at this. We're going to do a live look right into where you have to go to get your umbrella. You can go right over to Ammonites. Hello, Sheldon. And we're going to go all the way to the right, just for a little bit. And we're going to find how much that umbrella costs. Luckily, this umbrella isn't too expensive being a basic weapon, but it is the opposite of basic with how much it can get done in your next game. Now, um, I can't tell you the cost of the umbrella because I already own it. So, uh, GG's, buy the umbrella.